saving your file every time with blade.php extension and wondering what blade is so check out this video till the end as we will be learning the blade layout in this video and also the syntaxes and control structures inside blade so stay tuned hey guys this is neha from webstack welcome to another episode on laravel series so before getting started if you are new here make sure you click on that big subscribe button and do hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from me so let's see what blade template is so as you can see that i have opened this documentation and it provides the complete detail of the blade templates that you need to know in laravel so uh, coming to the blade template uh, we can say that it is simply a powerful engine which is provided by laravel and it actually it makes the syntax easy uh, you can use uh, php syntax as well but this blade is used to make those syntaxes easy and convenient to use inside the layout files or inside the web pages so it actually adds zero overhead to our application and also whatever you are writing inside the blade will be actually compiled down to the same php code so it really makes our task easy when it comes to coding and we can simply code like in the last video we have seen how to display the data onto the web page so we use this double curly braces as you can see in this page so in case you have not followed that video check out that video the link is in the description box below so uh, this actually uh, instead of this you can also use echo but for that we need to use echo then we have to use html special chars and then inside that we can print the variable but to avoid that what we can do is we can simply write the blade templates that is double curly braces so that is how our task is done it really makes your task easy but if you find it difficult you can surely use php if you are comfortable with that so let's see some of the syntaxes in blade that we will be using in this entire series so in earlier sections we have already seen that we use at the rate extend section and we have learned how to create the layout files that is actually called template inheritance if you can check this documentation then you can see that the first topic written here is template inheritance so we have already completed this uh, check out that video the link is provided in the description box below so we have already seen extending a layout and then displaying data now we will be checking out some control structures that we can use inside blade so let's check out the if statement for if statement i just need to write at the rate if and you need to write the condition here so let's say uh, what i'm passing inside the page is product name product brand and the product price so let's try to compare the product price so if i say uh, if dollar price is less than 25000 then we will try to print something called in the paragraph tag i will be writing product is cheap and also if after this i want to end this if as well it's very important to end your if statement also so let's check this out of right now it will not display anything because my product price is 30000 so if i just change this out let's change the price or let's put a else if condition here so i'll simply write at the rate else if and then you will compare again the price so i'll say it is greater than 25000 and so you are using the same logical operators that you do in any other language so i'll be using here dollar price if it is greater than 25000 and less than 50000 then let's say i'll copy paste it and i'll say the product is normal and let's say i want to put a else statement as well so in else we do not provide anything inside this so no conditions we provide inside else we simply need to write the statement so i'll write 
product is costly. So now if I refresh the page again, so now you can check it is displaying product is normal because the product price lies in the range of 25,000 to 50,000. If I just change the price value, so let's say the price value is 70,000 and now if I refresh it, it will say the product is costly. So yes, it is working. And let's check out one more thing for if it is less than 25,000. So let's say it is of 20,000. It's a very cheap laptop. So it's saying the product is cheap. So that's how you implement the if statement. So after this, let's check out one more syntax. It is at the rate unless. So basically when you write at the rate, this is called directives in Blade. So I'll be using the term directives which basically means these functions only. So I'll be using at the rate unless directive. Inside it, I'll write some condition. Let's see what we are passing here. So we are saying when the name is equal to laptop or the brand is Asus. So let's say I will write here unless the brand is equals to equals to let's say Dell. Uh, we need to write it in quotes because it's a string. So unless the brand is Dell, it will print something. So let's say, and you need to end this unless as well. So we will be displaying something in the paragraph tags again. And let's say, we'll say product is new or product is of new brand collaborated with Dell. Let's say this, but our brand is Asus. So let's try and refresh this page. So what just happened here? Product is of new brand collaborated with Dell. That means it works opposite to your if statement. Uh, it means when your statement is false, whatever condition you are writing inside it is false, then it will be executing the statement, otherwise it will not execute it. So if I write the brand here as Dell, then refresh the page, then it will not display the uh, line because it is satisfying this condition that brand is equals to Dell. So unless works opposite and it works only when the condition inside it is false. So the next thing that I want you to try out is switch statements. So you can use that and refer the documents also if you face any issues. Uh, you, as you can see that the syntax is simple and you just need to write the add the rate directive to each and every statement. So please try it out by yourself and if you face any problem or if it is working fine, let me know in the comment section below. I'll go through each and every comment. So that's it for this video guys. In the next section, we will be learning about the loops inside Blade Layout. So if you like the content, hit that like button and do share it with your friends so that it reaches out to all the learners out there. And hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get all the latest updates from me. So see you in the next video.